Hi, it's Aaron from Laser, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fit a can mate into your vehicle. So we've got our lights installed here on our Transit Custom and what we want to do is wire them up so that when we activate our main beam our lights illuminate. What you'd need to do first of all is check at the vehicle headlight to see if you get 12 volts going to the headlight itself when you activate your main beam. If you do not get 12 volts going to your headlight when you activate your main beam you are going to need one of these which is a can mate and what it does is it takes the CAN bus information from the vehicle and it will give you that 12 volt output when you activate your main beam. So what I'm going to do now is take you guys over to the bench and I'll show you what you get in the CAN mate kit. Okay so we're over on the bench now and we have got our CAN mate interface and CAN mate interface loom. I'll just plug that in there like that and I'll explain to you guys what these wires do. Now we've got a twisted pair, I'm just going to pop them out of the way and speak about the normal looking wires First of all, we've got a red. That needs to go to a permanent live on the vehicle, fused at five amps. We have then got a black. That needs to go to a ground point on the vehicle. And then we have got a purple. This is going to be our output wire, which needs to go to the relay on our standard laser lamps wiring kit. We have then got our twisted pair of wires here. Now these are gonna to need to be connected to the CAN bus high and CAN bus low wires on our vehicle. Now can high and can low wires can normally be found uh, on the back of an onboard diagnostics plug however they do differ uh, from location between manufacturers um, and the CAN bus information can be obtained by your laser dealer or by us direct although in the future there will be an app available for you guys to download where you can find the relevant information for your vehicle. So we have a white wire here, this is going to be can high, that will connect onto the can high wire on our vehicle and then we have got a blue wire that will connect onto the can low wire on our vehicle. Now a couple of things I'd like to mention, when you are connecting uh, the wires to the can system on your vehicle it's very important that you take the keys out of the ignition so that any can systems um, are not live uh, while you're connecting. Uh, and then the other thing that I would like to say as well, which is extremely important, is that we, um, when you do connect your cam wires, connect them one at a time. Um, don't connect them both at the same time, because if you, uh, if you have both of your cam wires uh, stripped um, on your vehicle and they accidentally touch, you do run the risk of causing some serious damage to the can system um, on your vehicle. So with that said, we're going to take this over to the Transit Custom and get cracking with the install. Okay, so you join me on the inside of the Transit Custom and I've just taken down the uh, panelling uh, off the driver's side here to access the OBD port because it says on our CanMate Connect installation file that we need to take the CAN bus wires uh, off of the back of the OBD here. So I've undone the two nuts uh, that hold the OBD in place. So I'm just quickly pull that out now. Okay, I've got a big bunch of wires on the back of the um, OBD. And looking at the installation file, it's telling me that the can high um, is going to be a grey and orange. So it's probably going to be that one there. Um, the reason I say that is because it's the can low uh, is purple and orange, and that happens to be. Uh, twist it together um, with the can high. So what we need to do now is just quickly unravel these, separate them and what I will be doing is get my loom from the can mate and can high on the can mate is white so that will be soldered into the grey and orange like so. I'll do that first of all and then the can low is the blue from the can mate and that will be soldered into the uh, purple and orange um, on the vehicle and like I say it is important that you do that separately don't try and do them both together to sort of save time because if you do accidentally touch the wires together um, you can cause some damage to the vehicle so once I've done that I will then use the 
black as an earth there's quite a bit of metal work around here so I'll probably go off of something like this um, to, to earth the, the cam mate uh, then I will need to find a permanent live and we've got there's a big fuse box here so it's bound to be a live here um, so I shall tap into one of those lives uh, and again fuse it at 5 amps and then once I have done that it will be ready to be plugged in um, and it will go through its light sequence so what I'll do is I'll quickly get that wired in and just before I'm about to plug in I will uh, come back to you guys and I'll show you the light sequence on the cam mate so we know if it's working correctly or not. Alright so our loom is installed on the vehicle and I'm just about to plug in our cam mate box so what I'm going to do is just plug it in there is an LED on the cam mate which is just next to the power plug um, that will illuminate red first of all and then when you turn the ignition on on the vehicle it should turn to green to say that it has got um, uh, receiving can data so I'll just plug that in now there we go you can see it's gone red and it's got oh it's gone green straight away okay so that's that's a good sign that means that it should be working so I'm just going to turn the ignition on quickly And I'm just going to test our higher beam. Yep, and now I can see that our triple R's are working. So that's it, that means that the cam mate is doing its job. So what I'm going to do now is just tidy up the wiring um, and then I'm going to mount the cam mate box just on here and secure it. Uh, it's very important that we tidy back the wiring just so it just sort of drapes down you don't want any chance of it sort of coming down into like the the pedal area on the vehicle so i'm going to go ahead and get that done now and then i'll be back with you okay right so our cam mate is in place and it's cable tied securely around the obd and i've also cable tied up the uh, spare wires that we've got just so that they don't fall down uh, onto the uh, pedals so what I'm going to do now is just show you guys underneath the bonnet where you would connect up the purple wire. What you'd need to do is run um, your purple wire from obviously your cam mate through your bulkhead and then onto the relay. So what I'm going to do now is I'll pan over to underneath the bonnet and I'll show you the relay and whereabouts the purple wire needs to go. Okay so now I've installed our cam mate on the inside of the vehicle. I've run the uh, purple wire, a bit of an extension from the purple wire uh, through the bulkhead and along the engine bay uh, so that it comes to our relay um, and it basically just goes on 85 on the relay um, and that is going to be our trigger so basically what will happen is when we flash our main beam the cam mate will output a 12 volt uh, feed onto the purple wire this in turn will power up our relay and the power then go down to our triple R's so I'm just going to put the relay back now and then we'll just quickly test the triple R's make sure they work. Okay so I'm inside the transit now. I'm just going to activate the high beam and make sure our cam mate's working. Yep that looks good enough to me. So what's left for me now is just to sign off to you guys. Okay so that concludes our video for the installation of the cam mate. Hope you guys did find it interesting and helpful and thank you very much for watching. If you did like it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please feel free to like us on Facebook and make sure that you follow us on Instagram. I'm Aaron Green for Laser Lamps. Thank you.